I'm just setting out on a 24 hour survival challenge where I'm going to be attempting to camp overnight on the beach and catch my own food. So stay tuned to see how I get on. Earlier on that day, I parked my car next to a beach where I could launch my kayak and that's where the adventure would begin. The sun has just popped up above the cliff face and I'm currently kayaking along the coastline, away from the town, away from people, where I'm going to be camping tonight. There's something really quite scary about being alone on the ocean, but also something really special. Ah, that sun is nice. About an hour later, I'm still paddling, just looking for somewhere to stay the night. This looks like a really nice rocky point. We'll go for it here. We made it ashore, finally. That was a long paddle. I did not expect it to be that long. just pulled my kayak up onto the beach. It's completely low tide at the moment, so you can see the whole seabed out there. It's really rocky. There's a big rocky point which sticks out there, and that's one of the main reasons why I chose this area, because I know that where there's structure on the seabed, there'll also be fish. This is gonna be home for the next 24 hours. I've chosen a nice spot. It's quite sheltered. We've got a northerly wind, which is really helpful, because uh, it's gonna be nice and calm. Throughout today, there's gonna to be a couple of challenges. Firstly, I've gotta catch some food. That's probably gonna be the hardest thing to do because sea fishing is never guaranteed. And secondly, I'm obviously going to want to cook up that fish by means of a fire. And as you can see behind me, there's not a whole load of trees, which means there won't be much firewood, but there may be some driftwood scattered up along this beach. Well, I hope there is because I don't want to be eating raw fish. <laughs> We're ready to go out and try and catch some fish. Right, here goes. The challenge to catch a nice big fish for tea begins. I'm slightly worried because the sea is big and the fish could be anywhere. I'm gonna try my best. I'm just off that rocky point. The water looks like it's clearing up a bit. Obviously, close in, it's really murky. Wind's a little bit of a pain, but give it a go. First drop, here we go. We're drifting a bit. It's not ideal to be drifting too fast. It's nice because it means we can cover water. First drift, no fish. 
I want to find the drop off where it drops off these rocks a bit deeper. Currently four meters deep. There we go. This looks better. Let's give it another go. Come on, fish. I'm just dreading the thought of not catching anything and having to call it quits or just go hungry. Just because that would not be fun. But if I can catch something early, then at least it will secure me with some food for dinner. Oh, no! No way. Oh my goodness me, I'm hooked up and it feels quite big. I can't quite believe it. Did you hear that? This feels like a big fish. Oh yes, it's a bass. Just what we were after. Oh yes, look at that. There we go. That is exactly what we are after, a sea bass. Definite legal size. And that is gonna be my dinner tonight. What a fish. What a fish. I've never been so buzzing off a capture, not only because it is a beautiful sea bass, but because it's gonna be my dinner tonight and I'm gonna be eating good. Oh, look at that. Wow. There's nothing quite like being out on the sea alone. No one else around for miles and miles. Don't know if it's scary or exciting. I guess it's a bit of both. Ah, no more bites. I'm being slowly taken by the tide, slightly down the coast that way, so I'm gonna paddle back to the rocky point. Well, over the rocky ground again. Just gotta be careful that I don't lose my lure. So you're a lot more likely to get snagged when you're over this rather than the sandy bottom. But there's also more likely to be fish here. Typical. Come on, if we can catch one more, then we're sorted for today. Be amazing. Oh my god, we're in. We're hooked up, we're hooked up, we're hooked up. There we go, another bass, but this one's too small. This must be about 35 centimetres, about as long as a ruler. There you go, mate. The legal taking size of a bass in UK waters is 42 centimetres. The idea behind these regulations is to let the fish have a chance to breed at least once before being taken for food to secure ourselves with healthy fish stocks long into the future. Oh, yeah, we've got a fish, we've got a fish. I thought I was bumping across the rocks, but that is a fish. Oh my goodness, it's going. Oh, oh. It is bigger than the other one. Oh. What? Are you actually serious? <sighs> wow. Dinner's sorted. I can head back and uh, continue on with the rest of my day, trying to find some firewood and uh, get in the rest of the camp set up. But yeah, what a morning. I could not have hoped for a better way to start the morning. We've got dinner and uh, 
later on we're going to cook it up. In the meantime, we're going to do some coastal foraging. Often, I've found, if you scrape back the sand or the pebbles, there's often some tasty snacks to be had. Oh, and look, look what we've got here. And look at that, fresh from the ground. In all seriousness, I did bring some lovely bananas to get me through the day. I'm not going to try and hide the fact that all I've got is some sea bass. <laughs> Shame bananas don't actually grow in the ground. <laughs> well, the day is getting on a bit now and the tide has actually come the whole way in. And for the last half an hour or so, I've just been watching the mackerel shoals busting and feeding on all the small bait fish. The mackerel have been chasing the fish right up onto the beach and all along here, all along the shoreline, there's just small fish that have been actually chased out of the water. But yeah, it just makes me so happy to see the ocean so full of life. Wow, just look at that view. This particular spot that we're at has these large cliffs, which look like it's just made of crumbling rocks and sand. It certainly doesn't look safe. In fact, earlier when I was in the kayak, I looked back at the shore and I saw a massive landslide and there was sand and rocks falling down the cliff face. It looked pretty scary. There are so many of these cuttlefish. I've never seen a cuttlefish in my life though. Where do they go? Well, my sleeping setup for tonight is nothing too exciting. I've just got a roll mat, a sleeping bag. I'm just gonna lay that down on the nice, comfy pebbles. Just gotta hope that no passers-by come late at night and just see this kid just laying there on the beach. They'll probably get pretty freaked out. <laughs> So it's finally time to get the fire lit. Found some really nice dry sticks earlier, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I'm so hungry. I've got some silver birch bark here, which I'm gonna to use to start the fire. It's so flammable and it's really good for lighting fires. Found that on a tree near my house the other day. I'm gonna put it to good use today. It's good. Ty's just coming back in. Fire's going again, nice and hot. Hopefully that will keep the mosquitoes away. But I think it's gonna be time for bed soon. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna make that long kayak back to the beach where I came from. Not really looking forward to that too much. Anyway, I'm going to get to bed now.
Well, there we go. That's 24 hours up. To be honest, I didn't get a very good night's sleep last night, so I'm really looking forward to getting home. But if you enjoyed watching and you'd like to check out some of our other sea fishing content, then I recommend clicking one of the videos that's on screen now for some more of that. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.